Yeah, so I'm Steve Martosi from GroupMe. Um, so what GroupMe is, uh, at its core, it's group messaging and conference calling for every phone. Uh, and that every phone is really important for us because, you know, it, the problem with groups is if you leave someone out, um, the, the whole thing kind of falls apart. You wanted to use this to coordinate going out. Um, you know, what we use it for is going out. We were, Jared and I originally built this uh, for a music festival. Uh, there was no good tool to keep everybody together because my one friend, you know, will not download, will not check his email on his phone or has a feature phone and we needed something that worked that we always knew that everyone would check the message for. So we say that we found the lowest common denominator in text messaging um, and we give every group their own unique phone number so when you get added to it, all you have to do is reply and uh, it's like a reply all chat room on your phone. Um, so that was the big thing for us is this needed to work for everyone, everywhere, all the time. Um, so that's what we, we originally did it for. Um, and also it connects the people who are closest to you. You know, like this is a very intimate tool. This is something that's gonna, you know, buzz everyone's pocket every time a message is sent. So uh, it's really important that you have these kind of stronger bonds with them. Um, and you'll see the, the common use cases after this music festival turned out to be your family. Uh, roommates was always a good one. Fantasy football leagues uh, was, was actually huge and kind of like watching sports together. Uh, and college buddies and kind of these reunions when you're going to all go to like a, a bachelor party in Vegas or, you know, a, a trip to get together and those were kind of very common use cases for us. Uh, but it's not all fun and games. So this is an email we got and we get a lot of amazing emails. Um, this was from a user in Detroit and I'll, I'll actually read it to you. So it says, so our inner city neighborhood in Detroit has been hit with more crime than usual this spring. We've adopted GroupMe as a way to send instant alerts. In two weeks, we've collectively responded to a home invasion, ID'd a miscreant who assaulted a woman on the street, and kicked out several addicts who had just broken into an empty house. We boarded it up in two hours. The cops don't do shit here. Great place to live, right? We have to rely on each other to respond quickly. GroupMe has changed our neighborhood. So while we built it for fun and we built it for you know, the good times, it's also extremely val valuable for, for the hard stuff. So where does the where kind of factor in here? A lot of the common use cases, as I said, is there's the neighborhood watch example uh, or planning to go out for a night like this was one for our LCD sound system show the other day at MSG. It was how do we all get together? How do we go out together? How do we stay in touch? How do we find each other when we get separated? So when we look at location, people are continuously using, you know, the text messaging to tell each other where they are. Um, but, you know, we wanted to kind of in our apps be able to provide a little more than that. We wanted to say, okay, how do we structure some of this location data? Because how often do you get like, uh, yeah, I'm going to the sushi restaurant. Oh, well, what's the address? And you want to kind of share that. Um, so, you know, every group, if you're using our iPhone apps, gets a map. Um, and <laughs> The, 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 the scary and confusing part is that little dot when you just click the map tab, even if no one has shared a location, um, we get user complaints being like, oh my god, are you sharing my location right now? Like, what's happening? No, it's just the standard like GPS dot on a map. So we wanted to be, you know, very explicit about who you're sharing with and when you're sharing. Um, so this is an example of attaching a venue to a message within the GroupMe app. And, you know, basically it only happens right now when, you, when you're sending a message. You attach a venue, you can say your current location, or we use Foursquare to power a list of venues. Um, we also nicely show that Foursquare button to add a check into it, um, but we only actually show that to you if you have the Foursquare app installed on your phone. Um, we really don't want to complicate that process if you don't know what Foursquare is. Because people are moving with our product up from text messaging and into our app, and they may not be used to this stuff at all. Um, and once again, you're only sharing it with the people who are in your group you know, at that exact moment, um, and it's providing a lot of value for people. Uh, in addition, we kind of have this concept of feature groups. The first one was Austin City Limits Music Festival. Uh, we just did Coachella. Um, here's an example actually from a VentureBeat article um, about how people are using uh, GroupMe to do location when all they have is text messaging. It's saying, I'm here, I'm here, this works. It works even when there's no data connection, even when things are, are rough. Uh, we also have this concept of sponsored location. So during South by Southwest, you could see where our, uh, our venues were uh, and do some uh, cool things there. Um, so where are we going with this? We want to keep helping people make plans. Uh, we want to actually be able to help you leverage this data to make decisions. Group decision making is the big thing for us. And we've got to take this international. 
Um, and so that's GroupMe. Um, if you have any questions, email me at steve at groupme.com. And uh, we're New York City based and we're hiring. So if anyone wants to help us uh, attack this task, uh, give, me a, give me a call or visit our jobs page. Thanks. Great.